Hi, I'm Nikki and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be discussing or answering the question, should women lift weights? Now, if you are new to my channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and you hit the notification bell if you want to see more workouts and more fitness related videos. But for today's video, let's get started. <music> So the short, sharp answer to that question is 100% yes, you should lift weights if you are a woman. Now I'll explain in this video and break it down in a little bit more detail, the five major benefits as to how weightlifting can help to improve your fitness if you are still not convinced. So the first major benefit to lifting weights, irrespective of your gender, to be honest, um, but the first key benefit is that lifting weights is key to losing fat. So if you want to look more like this instead of like this, then you really should be incorporating strength training and weightlifting into your workouts. Now, the reason why weightlifting is key to losing fat is because it takes your body more energy, and by energy, I mean calories, to maintain muscle cells as it does to maintain fat cells. So if you do a cardio workout, whilst you might burn lots of calories whilst you're doing the workout, after you stop working out, then the body only starts or continues to burn those calories for up to 24 hours post-workout. Whereas if you do a weight lifting session, obviously it does depend on the intensity and how long you're lifting the weights for, but your body can continue to burn calories, not just whilst you're doing the workout, but for up to 38 hours post-workout as well. Now for every pound of muscle that you build, your body, even in a resting state, can burn on average an extra 50 calories per day. And the more muscle that your body has, that means that the more muscle contractions your body will experience. And going back to the point that I mentioned earlier, the more muscle contractions that your body has to support, that means the more calories and the more energy it needs to burn. Now, when I say it's key to losing fat, it really depends on how much fat you have to lose. So if you are significantly overweight, then it might make sense to look at other ways to burn more fat and doing less weight training initially and then build things up as you lose more fat to incorporate more weight training into your workout. So it really depends on what your starting point is. Now, the second major key benefit to using or incorporating weightlifting into your routine is that it helps to increase bone density. Now, as being particularly women, we're susceptible to losing bone density and strength as we get older. So the more of that that we can replace, the better it will be. So if we incorporate strength training into our workout, what happens when we do the strength training is the muscle will pull and contract against the bone. And what that does is it will force the bone to create new cells. Therefore, we'll have stronger and better bone density. The third major benefit to strength training is that it will massively improve your strength. Um, and you know, everyone has to start somewhere. The stronger you get though, the more confident you'll get, the more empowered you'll be. You know, how awesome is it to be strong, to not have to depend on other people, to be able to do everyday tasks much easier. You know, when I started out strength training, I could barely do one push up, whereas now I can do multiple sets and it just makes me feel so much better about myself. So the fourth major benefit is that you can combat age-related muscle loss. Now by that, what I mean is that research shows that between the ages of 30 and 70 years old, that we lose on average 22% of our muscle. So it's like really important that we somehow find a way to replace the muscle that we're losing. Another key benefit as well is that for every pound of fat that you have, it takes up 18% more space than every pound of muscle. So I might weigh the same, but if I've got more fat instead of muscle, I'm probably going to wear a bigger dress size because it typically takes up more space. Now, if we can retain muscle, again, it means that you've just got a much more youthful look. You know when you see um, like 
bingo wings it's not really cool i don't think that's the desired look that people are going for as they get older so again if you incorporate strength training into your workout it just means that you'll have less sag and bag if you want to call it that and you'll have firmer and a much more toned body and the fifth major benefit to weight training as part of your workouts is that it will make you look and be more athletic and will really give you that toned look if that's what you're aiming for. It will not make you bulky. And the reason it will not make you bulky, contrary to popular belief, is that as women, we have 15 to 20% less testosterone than men do. So testosterone is one of the main building blocks to building muscle. So when people say that they want to be toned, toning and muscle building is exactly the same thing. In order to look toned, you need bigger muscles and less fat. As I mentioned, biologically, it is much more difficult and unlikely for a woman to be able to bulk up in the same way that a man can. You know, to bulk up, you'd have to follow an extremely strict diet and an extremely strict exercise regime. So therefore, getting into weights will help you build that nice, toned, athletic, bikini body that, you know, a lot of people strive for. Again, if you're trying to be more athletic, then the benefits of that will mean that, you know, if you like to cycle or if you like to run, the faster you'll be able to run, the longer you'll be able to run, the faster you'll be able to cycle. These things are all aided by having a really good um, foundation in the form of weight training. So in summary, I hope that that video has encouraged you to lift weights if you were on the fence as to whether or not it's good for you or how it can benefit you. And I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you did, then make sure you like, comment on it and share the video. And lastly, one thing that I ask is that you subscribe to the channel and you hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any of the videos that I upload. And I will catch you soon in my next video.